with equal vigor i am now going to take up this issue where the ministry the staff of the ministers becomes entitled to lifelong pension in two years time this is total mockery of the law this is absolutely atrocious the young boys and girls of kerala they go to various states they go to foreign countries looking for jobs and here the public money is being squandered what 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 is the uh, uh, special distinction of those these people who are basically party cadre and they become entitled to lifelong pension how much time it takes for you to become entitled to pension it takes more than some decades <laughs> some decades and these are such special people and every minister i as central minister did, could had the right to appoint only 6 or 7 persons there every minister is burdened with so much work that they appoint 25 people and after 2 years they ask them to resign this is nothing but total fraud and deceit which is being played on the people of kerala so i do not have the power to stop it okay. but there are several other now to i know uh, uh, what i will do now you please wait for some time but i assure you i am going to make it a big issue national at the national level this is nothing but pure violation of the spirit of the constitution spirit of the law highly discriminatory disgraceful Sir, what they are doing so you will fight you will fight you will fight against the uh... and now this will be my priority to bring it to an end Sir, this money belongs to people of kerala this money does not belong to kader <laughs>